my self pavani i'm working as assistant professor in csc aml department at mlr institute of technology today i would like to give a session on parts of speech tagging this is one of the la language model let's see the overview of today's session so what is the meaning of pvoice tagging and what are types of pvoice tagging and there are different types of pvoice tagging rule based pvoice tagging and transfer based based pvoice tagging and hmm for pvoice tagging and stochastic pvoice tagging let's see one by one and next types of rules in rule based pvoice tagging and properties of the rule based pvoice tagging let's see the so what is a pvoice tagging meaning here pvoice tagging means parts of speech tagging that means we are assigning the noun verb adjective adverb pronoun conjunction to the sentences in the word so p it is a process of assign the grammatical category this this type of uh, pvoice tag is called as a grammatical categories it helps understand the structure and meaning of the sentences so there are three types of pvoice tagging rule based pvoice tagging and stochastic pvoice tagging and transformation based pvoice tagging let's see the first one rule based pvoice tagging so what is the meaning of rule based pvoice tagging it assigns the parts of speech tags to words using a dictionary we have different types of lexical resources right in previous session we discussed lexical resources word net frame net research corpora next nltk stem these are the some different types of lexical resources that means this contains uh, some different data right by using this we can use the data and apply the rules see here this can be done in a two way of process so first one lexical lookup and rule based disambiguation so what is the meaning of your lexical uh, lookup means here we are assigning the some possible pvoice tags to each word using a dictionary by using this dictionary we are assigning the possible pvoice tags to each and every word in a sentence let's see what is the meaning of here rule based disambiguation we already known that word sense disambiguation so what is the meaning of here disambiguation it contains the multiple words by selecting the only correct tagged word it means if a word has multiple pvoice tags context based rules select the only correct tag that means the sentence contains number of pvoice tags but we are selecting only particular correct tag only this is called as a rule based disambiguation let's see the example here here i am taking one sentence the old man walks slowly this is the sentence i have taken right here da is a determiner and old is a sub adjective and man is a noun walks is a some verb sometimes it call as a verb sometimes it call as a noun so slowly is a some adverb this is a lexical lookup let's see by by this lexical lookup we are applying the rules this is a overview of the two stage process lexical lookup and rule based disambiguation this is a lexical lookup according to uh, based on the dictionary we are assigning the pvoice tags so here next one rule based disambiguation that means here i am applying the rules let's see here the old man follows the determiner means the this is the adjective right here the man follows the adjective old this is a uh, by the rules we are defining this is the correct way of the propagation right here verb here walks follows the noun this is a meaning sentence right here slowly here ly ends with the adverb this is the meaning of this sentence this is the final sentence the determiner old adjective and man is the noun walks verb slowly adverb this is the final sentence of applying the two stage process lexical lookup and rule based disambiguations here i am taking the only correct tag the suppose sentence contains multiple pvoice tags multiple words but i am taking only correct related tag this is the main meaning of the disambiguation to overcome the 
ambiguity. See here types of rule based POS tagging. See the first one context pattern rules. That means here I am using this some context pattern rule. These rules consider the neighboring words, not the all the words. It rule it, it only takes the neighboring words to determine the correct POS tag. Let's see the example. If the preceding the word is an article, then the current word is mostly like a noun. This is the rule, right? If the preceding word is an article, let's suppose that the is the article, then the next current word is a noun. It should be noun. So the is the article. Suppose cat is a noun. That means if the preceding word of the article should be noun. This is the condition, right? So after applying this tagging rule, suppose I am taking the cat is sleeping. This is the article. The is the article here. Here cat is a noun, right? This sentence is correct because it follows the article the. This is the meaning of the context pattern rules. Let's see the second example. If you were ending ing, suppose playing or running is split by the preceded by the verb. So is, was, were, then it is likely a present participle verb. Suppose she. See the example here. She is running fast. She is running fast. Here, running is a verb. Compulsory followed by the is. Is, suppose was, were. This is the meaning of the ing. See the next one. Regular expressions, right? See, regular expression rule. Some rule based taggers use regular expression. This is a one of the major important concept in natural language process. How the regular expressions will be done by applying the rules to the strings. It already we discussed in a previous session. Please go through that video and understand the what is the meaning of con and concept of the regular expression. See here these rules are compiled into final state automata. FSA we discussed FSA final state automata and non-deterministic final state automata. In previous sessions, if you want, you can read the and uh, listen the video. See, regular expression process input words and determines their correct POS tag on pattern matching. That means by using regular expression, we can uh, identify the input words and determine the correct POS tags. The pattern is matching or not. Let's see the example here. If a word ending with ed are the past tense, right? Played. That means it is a complete an action, right? So. I am taking he played football. This is a suppose he followed by the played. Suppose ed is a past verb. This is a regular expression pattern. See if a word ends with li, that means softly or newly something like that, that called as adverbs. Here she speaks softly, right? This is the adverb. Compulsory followed by the verb that is softly. Suppose ly. We are not taking the entire word. I am taking only ly. Ends with the ly. See here next one prepositions. Some words like on, at, in are always the preposition. Here like ly, uh, ed. Ed is a verb, right? Here ly is an adverb, right? Here on, at, in is a some prepositions. These sentences are called as the, some preposition POS tags. Let's see the example here. I am taking one sentence here. The cat sleeps, right? Here the, the is article. Cat is a noun. Sleeps is a verb, right? The article is followed by the noun. So, the sentence is right. The verb is followed by the sleeps verb. Okay. Next is second sentence. She sings beautifully, right? She pronoun. Here she is the pronoun. Sings is a verb. Beautifully is a adverb. Here verb is followed by the pronoun and next beautifully is a followed by the some things right next see the proper properties of the rule based POS tagging let's see the first one these taggers are knowledge based driven approaches here that means it contains some data data uh, sets knowledge based driven approaches and next these rules are rule based POS tagging are built in manually that means user defined some user defined tags right the information code in the form of rules. That means we are using the, we are applying the rules to the 
sentences express rule based decision making so uh, explicitly we are taking the decisions in the form of the rules limited scalability contains large set, data sets right but means limited scalability is one of the property used in low resource languages we have some limited number of that means around 1000 rules are there it's is an example the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog here the i is a determiner quick is a adjective and brown is a adjective fox is a noun jumped is a verb and over is a inflection and the i is a determiner lazy is a adjective dog is a noun this is a how we are applying the lexical lookup and uh, uh, rules for disambiguation in a rule based po is tagging for a sentence to add the po is tagging this is a fine summary we discussed po is tagging and types of po is tagging and example and properties thank you